Welcome to the Drexel University Libraries Health Sciences Libraries CINAHL tutorial. At this point, we've added limits and we're ready to view the results. To view the results, simply click this link. Your results will now appear on screen. From here, you can examine these items and determine whether or not you'd like to go on and try to view these items. What I do at this point is if I see something that's interesting, I'll click the Add to Folder link. That'll store that citation in a safe place so I can come back and look at that in a moment. I'll continue scrolling through and I'll choose a few more items. Again, I'm going to be using the Add to Folder link. All right, I think that's enough. So what I'm going to do at this point is show you where these items are now located. After you've added items to the folder, scroll up to the top of the screen and you'll see a folder icon on the very top of the page. You might see a mouse over that says folder is empty. Please do not worry about that message. When you click on that folder link, you'll see the items there. In some cases, you'll see PDF links that are directly associated with the items. Simply click on that link and you can grab the PDF. In other cases, you might not. For example, number two. To determine whether or not a full text is available, simply click the Get It button. A new window will open. If you do have a pop-up blocker set, it might block this window and you might have to allow this to come through. Once you see the material on the screen, simply select the article level link. And in this case, there are a few providers that provide access to this journal. I'll just start at the top, clicking that article level link. That brings me into the journal of perinatology and towards the right-hand portion of the page, there's a download PDF link. I'll click on that, and we're easily able to obtain this item. Let me close out these additional tabs and return to CINAHL. In some cases, you'll notice that full text might not be available. In those cases, still, when you click on the Get It link, if you see that the online text is not available, you could try ordering this item through Interlibrary Loan. I'll click that link now. At this point, you can sign in to our Interlibrary Loan process by using your basic Drexel username. If you already have an account established with Iliad, when you log in, it's going to take the information from the database and fill out a form automatically for you. At this point, you would just scroll down the page and click the Submit Request button. This will take about four to five business days for the libraries to turn around. It is free of charge and it will be submitted to you electronically. You can always check on the status of your request by coming back to Iliad and logging in. An Iliad link is available from the Drexel University Libraries website. You can click on that. That will bring you here as well. If it is your first time signing in, you'll have to complete some basic information. Name, address, email, and so on. At the top of the request form, please specify your home library. If you happen to be a health sciences student, 
that home library is most likely Hahnemann Library. Please make sure to select that option from the drop down menu that will appear in order to have your request go through. Also, if you happen to be a distance learning student, please make sure to note that in the record. You should see that from some further drop down menus, but make sure to indicate that. That's very important. All right. At this point, I'm going to close out of this window. I'm going to close out of the full text options and come back to CINAHL itself. This concludes this chapter. Thank you.